Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at a big earthquake, major floods, wildfire visualizations, and a major story that won't get big press and requires a good bit of homework to understand. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were quiet. Small pops at the limb, no solar flares or eruptive events in Earth's direction. We do have the coronal hole stream on deck for tonight or tomorrow, and minor solar storm conditions are expected from it. Eyes on the solar wind. And in terms of eruptive potential, one sunspot departs to the right on the south and another comes in from the left. It's compact with a multi-umbral core but is fairly stable thus far, not much morphing or magnetic complexity. Hopefully it stays that way for about four more days. Huge aftershock at Kamchatka. Remember that for magnitude 8 events like the one from the end of July, big aftershocks can hit the location for up to a year. This was dead on the long fault rip and luckily was offshore enough in a relatively remote region that damage from this will be minimal. Folks, the photos and videos coming out of Bali look brutal. I've linked this story below if you want to check them out for yourself, but over a dozen are dead. Many buildings have collapsed as the torrents carried away cars and people and debris. Huge flood event. Up next, we're looking at the wildfire visualization data from the first week of the month. They are now not only getting wildly detailed observations at high cadence, but they're turning it around into visualizations in a tenth of the time it used to take. It's pretty impressive, and it's pretty wild to see how these fires subtly impact air quality over vast range. Lastly, folks. This is a big story going way under the radar. Interstellar pickup ions are messing with the solar wind here near Earth. When Voyager and New Horizons found them increasing out past Pluto, we said it wouldn't be long until they saw them working geospace as well. The increase and increased effect is coming with the galactic current sheet, and the satellite swarm detecting them has been up there a decade already. We're just seeing the effects reach this inner part of the solar system now not good when you look a tiny bit further down the road. Folks, it is one week until the Pole Shift Conference. Founders Weekend is at the end of the month and Dr. Dunning will be in town. Two prepping events to kick off October are world class. Definitely try to come out for one of those. In November, we have weapons training and self-defense. Observer speed dating November 7th and 8th. Find that prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. There's the film premiere event middle of the month and Pole Shift Conference Day. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com or just give us a call. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.